This video is made possible by G2A. Great games for cheap prices. Use the affiliate link g2a.com slash r slash film empire to support the show. Today I'm going to show you how to create a mocha camera solve in HitFilm right after the intro. So camera solves are actually really useful if you want to composite 3D materials into your 2D footage. Now a camera solve basically makes sure that the software you're working with knows how the camera moved in 3D space. So if you add a 3D element into it, it will move accordingly to your shot. Now a Mocha camera solve can be done in HitFilm Express using the Mocha add-on or in HitFilm Pro. The process for handheld footage and footage on a tripod is very similar, so I'll show you where it differs. First, open up HitFilm, import your footage and make it into a composite shot. Then add the Mocha HitFilm effect to it. Open the effect settings and choose Launch Mocha UI. This will open up the Mocha software. Scroll to the beginning of your footage and click the X Spline tool. Now draw around an area which you want to track by left clicking. When you have a shape you're happy with, right click to close the shape. The shape you've just drawn is what Mocha will track. Go to the bottom panel and change minimum percentage pixels used to something high like 95%. Leave the motion settings as they are if you're on a tripod, but if your footage is handheld, also select the perspective checkbox. Now click the track forward button. The footage is now tracked as you can see by moving the time slider around. Now click these two buttons as seen on screen while having the layer you just tracked selected as shown on screen. This creates a blue rectangle and a pink grid. These two tools can be used to create a set of points which you can use in HitFilm. If you change the blue rectangle the pink grid aligns with the surface. If I move the playhead you can see that the grid moves as well. You can now turn off these two tools again. I turn off processing and I lock the layer so that it stays the way it is. I also rename the layer so that I know what I'm working with. I now deselect the layer and select the X-Spline tool again to create a new track on a different plane. Since I am not at the end or the beginning of this clip, I first track forward, then I move the playhead back and then I track backwards. Now I align the pink grid again. Now I go to the camera solve tab. I set the motion to pan tilt zoom as I am on a tripod, but if you are handheld choose small or large parallax change. I also changed my focal length to what I used. Now I click solve. The solve quality is 74% in my case which is not that high but it's ok. To improve the solve quality make the track areas bigger. Now click export camera data while you have your tracks selected. Choose hit film composite shot and click save. Choose a location and save the composite shot somewhere. It says that some points are not so accurate as my camera solve was not very good, but it's ok for now so I'll click save. Now to go back to HitFilm, close this program and choose if you want to save it or not. Now in HitFilm, click the triangle next to import and import the composite shot you just created. As you see, you now get a composite shot with a blue plane, a camera and all the points you created in your Mocha track. Delete the plane and add the footage you tracked. If I now add a 3D element it moves with the shot. So I hope this video was useful to you guys. If it was leave a like, leave a comment, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you next week with a new video. Bye bye. Hi there, I hope you enjoyed that video. Now click the top thumbnail to see my latest video, click the thumbnail below it to see a highlighted one and click my logo to subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.